All right, so let me show you some plots that are very helpful and useful in R and how easy it is to create them. So one is a pie chart, right? So this is very helpful in visualizing a proportion of a given category, right? So in this case, a really simple thing might be, what's the proportion of the intensities of the different genes in a given experiment? Um, so in this case, I just used the pie command and then I told it, I was just looking at the specific example, in this case the second column, and I said let the labels be the row names of my data frame, and then this is my main title. And just by this little command, I get a plot like this. Okay? You have full control over the colors, what to display as the markers, and everything like that are here. Another very useful plot is a bar plot. This is much more helpful or useful for comparing data values. In this case, I'm using the bar plot command, and here I'm making sure that it's given as a matrix, and here's an option that's very helpful. So instead of trying to create all of them on top of each other, I've actually told it to create all the values side by side. So here it has gene one, two, three, four, five for control, treatment, uh, and so on. And all I had to do then is tell it that here's my legend, they are going to be the row names of my data, and I've actually asked it to be a little bit wider so I can draw the legend and it doesn't overlap on top of this. So that's all it was, it's just a bar plot, give it a matrix, tell it to do it side by side, the different values, uh, tell it what the legends are or where they are, and also how wide to make the graph. Another one is a box plot. Box plots are really good to look at the median and quartile ranges. So here is your median in your uh, data set, and this is your interquartile range, the IQR, which is the 25th to uh, 75th percentile, right? So this is the majority of your data is in here. This is uh, 1.5 times your IQR above and below, and then anything outside of these are usually thought of as outliers, right? So generally this gives you an idea of where the distribution is. It's not the mean, it's actually the median. But this is just a quick way of seeing what kind of values are in the different data sets. So all I had to do was box plot, this data frame, and that was it, okay? We can also create box plots by giving it a value set of values and grouping them using a factor and that also will group them into different bins and show the distribution of the data. We'll see that later on when we look at gene expression patterns. One more I want to show you is uh, a histogram. Now this is something that has always uh, annoyed me about Microsoft Excel and other applications because simply just making a histogram is quite cumbersome. In this case, all I have to give it is use the command hist, and then the actual values that I want to create a histogram for, and it does everything for me, okay? So here it's found its ideal bins to create. Again, I have control over this. I can give it the options of how frequent I want the, uh, these columns to be. And this is the frequency of how many times there are values between seven and eight, which seems to be the one that's most popular, uh, and it automatically picks the X range that it needs to do to fit the, all the values. Again, I have a way of controlling to show only specific ones, scaling them, and so on. So again, just a simple hist command here, and the input of the data values gives you a very nice and useful histogram.